morning everybody today i am going to teach grammar point in that figures of speech figures of speech what is figures of speech in kannada we call it alankaragalu idinna kannadalalli now we are going to create it in the alankaragalu ante karithivi we call it alankaragalu then what is figures of speech now we have to study the meaning of figures of speech the meaning of figures of speech all of you know when you go to outside or for some function you will get ready why you will get ready because you want to get the attention of other people towards you or you want to impress on the people that is called effect so figures of speech is also considered as effect on the mind of the reader it is used in language so describe the beauty of the language we use figures of speech in languages so the meaning is that the way of the way of expressing expressing an idea to create to create greater effect greater effect on the on the minds of the minds of the reader so many times i told you when we go to some function we get ready why we get ready you want to look smart you want to look beautiful why you want to look beautiful because when others will see you they think that you are so smart you are so beautiful that is why in kannada we call that alankara singara nodi adakka english nalli enu kelthe now figures of speech why do we use figures of speech in languages because to add the beauty to the language andre bhashege saundaryavanna hechisodakkagi nave maare illi bhashege alankara nu paristhavi anta Yes, the way of expressing an idea. Now we have to picture it. Or rather, manasina mele parinama kiri vanta ni kele vekta parisu vanta vidhana kani hina kare 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 na ho alankara gulo kare kare so. The way of expressing an idea to create greater effect on the mind of minds of the readers. Readers means who? Those who will read that lesson are the students. ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ 
Life is like an open book. Anyway, here we have compared life to an open book. Life is like an open book. Life. He is as handsome as Salman Khan. When we compare two things, while comparing two things, we have to use like so words. The baby is so cute. The baby is as cute, cute as a doll. Or the baby is so cute as a doll. We have to write like this. The baby is. The baby is so cute as doll. Amo, we should We compare that baby to a doll. There is a comparison. Again, one. Life is like an open book. Life is like an empty dream. Life is like an empty dream. Here, we compare life to empty dream. Empty dream. Like summer temperature, when we express the sorrow of that lady, the poet used the word like this like summer tempest came her tears. Like summer tempest, like summer tempest came her, came her tears. What we have compared here? We have compared the tears to summer tempest. Tempest means basically Gurugadi Vatata or Guriki Kannavi Jita and here I come back near Suri to all the way of the day. And in 10th class, second poem, the quality of Masi, in that we have discussed like what is that? Mercy is compared to gentle rain. Mercy is compared to gentle rain. It is not compelled or strained. It is just like gentle rain from heaven. Mercy is gentle rain from heaven. Mercy is like a gentle rain from heaven. It is figures of speech. Mercy is Mercy is like an like gentle rain, gentle rain from heaven, from heaven. You know, Karuni Anadu Hekanta Swarga in the Birta Kanta, Utur Marita Agni, then give a poor, it is not strained. That is why the poet is used, the quality is not strained. It dropped as the gentle rain from heaven. It dropped as the as there here or in that line the poet used as it dropped as the gentle rain from heaven. What dropped? Mercy is dropped as gentle rain from heaven. All of you care to know the meaning of simile no no? These are the examples of simile. There is a comparison between two things and it is joined by like as so words. That type of figures of speech is called as simile. Next one. Next one, metaphor. What is metaphor? Metaphor is a figure of speech. In this also there is comparison, but you will not find the words like as so in this figure of speech. Then what is the difference between simile and metaphor? While expressing the ideas in simile, we say that workplace is as clear as water. Her face is as white as milk. It is yet to our Mukavo, Halinante, Velagagi to our Mukavo, Chandra and the Vadi to one. It is yet to our Mukavo, Halinante, Velagagi to one. It 
केयर कर पैसे लाइफ इज लाइक अ ओपन बुक जीवन ಒಂದು ತೆರೆದ ಪುಸ್ತಕವಿದ್ದಂತೆ ಅಂತೀವಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಇದ್ದಂತೆ ಅಂತೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಅದರಂತೆ ಈ ತರ ಪದಗಳನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಬಟ್ ಮೆಟಾಫರ್ ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೋ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ देयर इज ಕಂಪೇರಿಜನ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಸಿಮಿಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೆಟಾಫರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬೋತ್ ಫಿಗರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ देयर इज ಅ ಕಂಪೇರಿಜನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೋ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ metaphor the meaning is there is comparison between two things but not find but not find like as so words now already i have given you the examples in simile what i told you life is like an empty dream life is like an open book why writing that sentences in metaphor we have to write like this life is an open book life is an open book life is an open book life is an empty dream life is an empty dream here we have compared life to empty dream here we have compared life to open book but like as so words are not used in this sentences tenala illi anteya jeevanavu terada pustaka vidante jeevanavu khali kanisiddante anthe adara illi roopaka alankaradalli bandaga adanna direct aagi irudidi enu antare jeevana terada pustaka jeevana bandu khali kanisiddante anthalla nao where we have not used ante like as so no see tipu was as brave as tiger which figures of speech it is it is simile why changing that sentence in metaphor we write like this tipu was a tiger tipu was a tiger here we compare tipu to tiger there is a comparison but that words are not used that is why this figures of speech is called as metaphor the difference between simile and metaphor is that in simile like as so words are used but in metaphor that words are not used directly we compare the thing to another thing there is no comparison words so metaphor and simile are same but metaphor is direct comparison and simile is indirectly we use comparison words to compare one person or one thing to another here these are the examples of metaphor these are the examples of metaphor yes youths are the pillars of the nation youths Youths means young people. Youths are the youths are the pillars of the nation. Here we compare youths to pillars of the nation. But here we are not used like that. So words youths are the pillars of the nation. Youths are pillars of the nation. there is no difference between simile and metaphor only the direct comparison is made in metaphor and in simile we use comparative words comparative words these are the examples of metaphor now third one personification third one personification what is personification 
position. The word is used as or the inanimate things are used as in having life. Inanimate. Inanimate. Inanimate things are used as if as if having life. As if having life. That is called personification. Inanimate things means lifeless things. The things which have no life. Lifeless. Lifeless things are called inanimate things. In science we count the things into parts or we divide the things into parts. Animate and inanimate. Inanimate means lifeless things. Animate means we human beings, animals, these are the animate things. So, the personification is a figure of speech. In this figure of speech, inanimate things are used as if having life. Now, for example, the sky wet. We say it is when it is raining. We say like this the sky wet. The sky wet means akasha akitwana. We used here the sky as a human being or animate thing. The sky wet. That the dog has running. The dog has running. Running. New world to new world to America. Means dog it is a early morning. Dog it is a early morning. It is promised whether we can. Touch or feel. We can't say that it is an animate thing. Inanimate. Dawn and Asupo are even in A. Mundiari and Asupo. America come to Asura. Jagatana Patini and get a problem in my food. So, here the dawn is inanimate things. We use it as an animate. The dawn is a crown in the new world. To America. The buildings came down like the buildings came down like next example. The experience is the great teacher. The experience is the great teacher. Similar sounds in a sentence. When the word is 
ಒಂದೇ ತರದ ಶಬ್ದಗಳ ಪುನರುಚ್ಚರಣೆ ಅಕ್ಷರಗಳ ಪುನರುಚ್ಚರಣೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಕೇಳಿದೀವಿ ಅಲಿಟರೇಷನ್ ರಿಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಒಂದೇ ವಾಕ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದೇ ತರದ ಪದಗಳ ಪುನರುಚ್ಚರಣೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಅದರ ಟ ಡ ಮ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಆ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಸತ್ತ ನಂತರ ಕೆಂಪು ಪಾದವೇ ಅದರ ಪಾದವನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಪಕ್